Hey everybody, welcome to Peppermint and Tobacco, a YouTube channel all about home fragrance including candles and tonight we're going to review Bath & Body Works Peach Bellini Candle, so stay tuned. Thanks everybody for coming on back. Tonight we're going to talk about Bath & Body Works Peach Bellini Candle, but before we get into that, I want to remind you of a few things. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the newsletter below. So those of you who've been around know the joke, which is the newsletter is not a newsletter yet, okay? Um, <laughs> at some point I'll, I will send newsletter, maybe. Um, but right now what I use it for is a sign-up sheet for giveaways. And so I want to let you know that I did give do a giveaway for July, and I have also sent out an email for a giveaway for our 250th subscriber. So when we hit those milestones for subscribers, and other sort of celebratory things for the channel, I like to uh, reach out and give back. And so our friend Robin, hey Robin, uh, was one of the winners for the July drawing. And so I'll go ahead and uh, draw one again for August when we get to the end of the month and it's quickly approaching. Y'all, your odds are good. So here's what happens. You sign up on the newsletter and you subscribe. That way I keep your email address in a safe place rather than us like, emailing back and forth or whatever and it's a MailChimp account and it has the like the security around the account and that way your mail is stay safe and if we ever do send a newsletter you have total control over how we contact you so that's great so two um they're only like i hate to say it only 50 subscribers to the new to the newsletter that's not a newsletter i keep using rabbit ears but there's only 50 subscribers right now so the odds are really good uh, for you to be uh, a winner in the drawing. So Robin selected a $10 uh, e-gift certificate for Bath & Body Works. I noticed that those three wick candles uh, came off sale uh, today. So hold out for a sale there, Robin. Um, and hopefully her money won't uh, burn a hole in her pocket. But you know, uh, I get a lot out of this channel and I wanna give back. Even, I mean, it's not a monetized channel and uh, we don't have that many watchers, but I've really enjoyed this as a hobby and connecting with you all, and not that I need to pay you to be my friends. <laughs> but I got such, like, uh, Robin's email back was like, wow, exclamation mark, um, and she was really excited, and it gave me a lot of joy to bring a little bit of joy to her Monday, um, and uh, it's Monday here. So anyway, enough of that. So sign up for the newsletter. Your odds, the odds are in your favor that you uh, may be a winner, and you can pick an e-gift certificate for Yankee Candle or Bath & Body Works. And I'll figure out if those other companies do e-gift certificates too. We'll, we'll do, you know, I'm, spread the love, spread the love. But I just, those two I know do e-gift certificates. All right, what's going on? Well, friends, hold please. I'm going to have a little sip of coffee. Y'all know that Helen Wyatt is a hero of mine. If you haven't seen Helen's video, she carries around this cardinal cup of coffee. And that's that between her and... Um, the Golden Girls. I'm really working on my Southern older woman vibe here, um, but loving it. Probably the very last burn today. I kept said that yesterday about the Love Is Here um, Pride candle. So Pride was last week. I'm burning it down. I, you know, didn't really. I wasn't. The suntan fragrance was great. It's a summertime fragrance, and it's been fine. Someone mentioned that it would make a great layering candle, and I bet that is true. So, you know, this is a candle that you could layer with different fragrances to have a real fun, robust uh, summer fragrance. But I, I think we're on our last legs here. Um, what else did I want to share? Well, stormy weather today. So hot, hot, hot and humid here in Charlotte. And then bam, had a, a thunderstorm with a tiny bit of hail. So I'm going to go check my car tomorrow when it's dry. Make sure I didn't get any hail damage. I'm not a big car freak, but I like my car and don't want it to be all dinged up with hail. So hopefully you all had good weather uh, wherever you are. Okay, John, enough babbling. Let's get to this candle. So Peach Bellini, you'll know that I got the Peach Bellini candle from uh, Colonial Candle. I also got Georgia Peach from Bath & Body Works and I've been trying out this Peach Bellini candle. Let's get it up to the camera so you can get a look at it. Now, I was, uh, when I ordered these, it was getting close to summertime. I'm trying to get them into the camera. Uh, at some point, the this channel will be, you know, making millions and millions of dollars and I will buy a camera that has a front facing um, screen. But right now we're using a camera that I've had for a while. So it's all about 
frugality and being budget friendly y'all okay so i actually like this label for peach bellini i like the floral it looks um, a lot of fun now they could have done a higher res version if you look very closely and you have eagle eyes the foliage in these um, flower images is pixelated slightly so they could have like gone up a little bit but it's you know got a nice white space it's fresh and clean here's the thing it just doesn't match the peach bellini label like i would expect this to be stylized versions of peaches but instead it's just you know I guess peach colored flowers and maybe this is like peach blossom but it doesn't look like that to me it looks like cherry blossom so you get some um, chrysanthemums here or carnate or yeah chrysanthemums and some odds and ends different flowers but it's attractive nevertheless uh, I like the white background peach Bellini here is a raised uh, little puff paint remember y'all may remember puff paint it's really not puff paint but it's a little bit raised and has texture to the black uh, and so does the Bath and Body Works little sign here. It's got a nice little copper uh, line around it that adds another element of finish or polish. The top is a shiny chrome lid and it has this textural design that sort of looks like a star if you notice it there. So, you know, overall a nice presentation. Could have like hit it better with like being a peach or peach trees or peach flowers or something. It Peach Bellini does come in a variety of different packages so y'all can pick one that you like if you're not into the floral. So, it is a um, three wick candle, of course, and you can see right off some of the challenges. We'll talk about it, about the wax pull and the robustness, but it's a creamy color wax. It was a little bit um, lighter color and it's gotten a little bit murky as it's burned. Um, and I'll talk in a moment about the, the wax quality, but you can see it's a white wrap sticker. We'll peel that off once the candle burns down and I will um, freeze the wax, pop it out, and we'll be able to recycle and reuse our Bath & Body um, candle jar. Okay, so here's the thing. This candle smells great. I love the fragrance. Let's talk about the fragrance notes. Um, succulent white peach. It is a juicy peach fragrance. I mean, it is like, it is so good. It's so good. Um, I Peach for me is a quintessential summer fragrance. I have a lot of um, fragrance nostalgia with it. Like, peach ice cream there's a creaminess here even though it's fresh and and um, sweet there's a creaminess there that reminds me of peach ice cream and that my grandmother would make we didn't uh, thankfully have like hand churner but she would put it in the sink of the ice cream churn uh, ice and rock salt and it would make ice cream and like we so peppermint and tobacco I got sidetracked peppermint and tobacco the name comes from memories of my grandfather. So my grandfather always had like peppermint or spearmint gum or peppermints around, carry them in his pocket. I mean, always had it. And he also chewed tobacco. And so those two fragrance memories are some of my earliest fragrance memories and a lot of joy and nostalgia associated with them. And that's how the channel got its name. Um, and so when I find a fragrance like peach that has that similar fragrance nostalgia that reminds me of my childhood and sort of slower times, like peach ice cream and just slowing down for the summer. Man, I, it really, like, gut punch. I, I'm loving it. So, this one smells great. That peach is yummy. It's moist and just like you want to bite into a peach. Sparkling Prosecco, and so that's an Italian wine. It's sort of like champagne, so it has that effervescence that comes along with Prose Prosecco. I think I'm saying it right. I'm not, like, down. Prosecco, Prosecco. Y'all correct me if I'm saying it wrong. This country boy does not know his Italian, so, you know, really. Um, although I should learn, like why not learn Italian? Uh, and then sweet orange, so a little bit of citrus, um, still very sweet, lovely in that family, blended. It smells like a Bellini, so uh, a fantastic fragrance. Um, the blend is awesome, smells like summer, effervescent, great for summer days and moving into summer evening. So this is a, a daytime and a nighttime fragrance. It's like uplifting, but it has that relaxing peach sort of dessert kind of feeling to it too. So all around great fragrance. Now y'all saw that the wax pool has been struggling. And those of you who follow me on Instagram at peppermint and tobacco Insta, and we'll get another sip of coffee. Anyway, those of you who follow me there know that I've been taking pictures of this candle and it's been so disappointing. So the reason why it's been disappointing is it got a weak 
weak wicks. Weak wicks. What's going on with these weak wicks? Um, I've heard people complain about it in the candle community about weak wicks or puny wicks and gosh darn it, this one has those weak wicks and it, it struggles to pull out, it struggles to get any wax pull and therefore the fragrance really struggles. Like you don't get fragrance intensity, you don't, don't get fragrance though and it could be so good! could be so good. That's the thing that's frustrating. The fragrance points are so on, it could be so good, but dang it, doesn't pull out. Um, Y'all know, I, people will share with me, and I love you. You can foil it, you can do this, you can put it in a, um, oh gosh, why can't I think in like a doodad, in a glass doodad, or in a hurricane, there you go to help it warm up and melt better and form a wax pool. Y'all, retail price, $24.50. If somebody bought this off the shelf, they need to get a candle that works. Like, your candle needs to burn. Like, that's that's the whole point of the candle. And I, I you know, I guess, you know, it's, there are bigger things in the world than candles that won't pull out. I get it, and I need to, like, contextualize my disappointment. It's not the end of the world. But it is frustrating when you buy something and it doesn't turn out. When it could be so great. When it could be so great. So, overall the look of the candle is great. The fragrance is so awesome. Could be a life-changing summertime candle if it would pull out. So, all in all, I can't recommend this one. I mean, maybe I got a dud. Y'all tell me below your experiences with the Bath & Body Works Peach Bellini candle. Tell me! Tell me please that I got a dud. Um, I have never taken a Bath & Body Works candle back, mainly because I really like to use um, this channel as a channel where you get to see my full-on experience, but if I can't get the candle to burn, then what's the point? Okay, so, I don't know, I'll get in there and like, get her cranked up again, we'll see. Uh, I'll come back in a couple of weeks, or months, or years, depending on how long it takes this candle to burn down, and do uh, a post-burn video and do it in my empties collection, could be so great. It is like dessert. I mean, you want to scoop out this candle and eat it. It's yum. But you can't because it's wax. <laughs> and, but it would be nice if it burned. Anyway, so that's the end of my rant. Could be such a great candle. I can't recommend this one based on um, my personal experience. Y'all deserve better than puny wicks or weak wicks. Um, but, I'll come back to you. So, thanks everybody for joining. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe because I'm gonna give you some uh, free stuff. And the next candle we're gonna review is Georgia Peach, which has not had weak wicks. And so we'll be talking about that one next. Thanks everybody for joining. We'll see you next time.